What's up, my toy lovers? It's Todd here, and I was just going to do a video on the uh, Action Force figures. I've done um individual video on Sergeant Slaughter, Stormtrooper, and uh, Steel Brigade Troopers. Um, there's a few more mainline figures, but I don't really want to do a video for each individual, so I'll just do a group one here because, you know, the they're all the same buck. They all got the same articulation and whatnot. Um, come with basically same hands. Just a few of them have different accessories. Um, so this is Condor. Now, I haven't. I don't own any of the comics, um, but from uh, Bobby Valla, the creator of the line. Uh, it seems like he made um, the uh, future of the United States is crumbling. Uh, there's been what seems to be a civil war. It's almost like every state's for itself. Uh, maybe it's broken up into bigger unions or whatnot, or um, allies and whatnot. Uh, it seems to be so. Obviously, um, Condor is from England over here helping. Uh, you know, Sergeant Slaughter is the good guy, and the Steel Brigade are the troopers. Um, we have Kirik, who is the leader of the garrison, and I don't know if they're the most powerful um, group, I'm assuming, and his right-hand man is the bone collector, Arthur Allen. These two guys served in Afghanistan together. Um, this guy's pretty ruthless, his file card, which the cool thing is we get file cards with these, um, which I know like one negative on the G.I. Joe classified series is Hasbro didn't put file cards on the boxes. It's like, come on, man. It doesn't, it wouldn't cost any extra. Just dial them up, dudes. Um, so we got our two main guys here that, uh, you know, it depends on what side you're on. Um, they seem to be the bad guys, but they don't see themselves as bad, would they? Um, and then you have all the troopers, the urban. Uh, there's like three different types of troopers. And it seems like those troopers are basically your um, grunts for whatever state they're in. Uh, they're basically the troopers, the military for that state, militia, military. I don't know if it's broken down into a militia or if we still have organized military. It seems like it's kind of spreading out, breaking down again. I should probably get the comics. Um, but also, like with toys, you, you make them your own. So I don't always like to follow the creator's vision but uh what's cool is the Kirik figure he comes with this little battle axe there uh he's got a pistol comes with a shotgun with the sheaths it's got a peg to fit into his back hole He's got the big blade, sleeveless, got the pipe showing, which I want to I get that version 2 slaughter because he's sleeveless too. I know that at this point the website's been down, I haven't been able to get anything for the new waves. So um, Kirik has this cool helmet. Kind of reminds you of like a Roman soldier, gladiator type. And we got garrison troopers coming out. I think they're wave, is it 2A or 2B? I'd like to get some of those also, but uh, really cool. Head sculpts on him. Just looks like a pissed off guy you wouldn't want to be in a dark alley with unless he's your buddy. And 
so he seems to be our Cobra commander, I guess. So far, I don't know. Um, and then his right hand man is the bone collector. Comes with this cool skull face. He's got a really cool sculpt on his, on his face, too. And I noticed um, like the difference between these and the classified or Star Wars. These seem to have kind of a more uh, glossy paint technique on them. But uh, they look really good. They actually look more realistic to me. And some 112 scale figures I have. I really like them. He comes with the pistol. Is that a desert eagle? Nice, a nice large uh, <laughs> blade weapon. He's got a place for uh, two magazines right here. And if you don't have um cool vest, armor plate, if you don't have these, a lot of the weapons, the magazines uh, do come out. A little snug. Oh man, there we go. What's cool about being snug is, you know, they're not going to pop out and just fall all over the place. It's pretty nice. I um, also like how, you know, Hasbro, when they, majority of the time, they give us weapons that are just one color. So it's kind of cool. We got some accent, you know, green, silvers. Um, but cool camo pattern, pants. Uh... Again, you're going to see it's a lot of the same. His pants are black. They're the same molds, but we got, you know, different helmets, visors, shields. So Condor, yeah, right off the bat. Um, I know his night vision goggles are upside down or whatnot. They're backwards. It's just the only way I could um, get them to flip in because they don't have a swivel function in them. I'll show you here in a minute, but uh, he's got his pistol, sidearm. Which I believe this is the same one that um, all the uh, Steel Brigade come with. Condors is painted uh, green and black. Same, it's the same sidearm. Um, blade. Same one I think the Steel Brigade have. Um, I mean, his vest is the same. Let's put a Steel Brigade here. Now this Steel Brigade Trooper um, has this head he has on is the extra head that Condor comes with. I just put it on a Steel Brigade Trooper to make one of my troopers look different than all the rest of them. So this head actually comes with Condor, not the Steel Brigade. And then um, Condor has a different helmet. You get 
close up on him. You know, good paint detail on these figures. So, uh, yeah, the night vision goggles, I have them on wrong because so if you plug them in, you know, this is how they would be plugged in. But they don't flip up. Like you, we've seen in some of the 118 scale figures how they can flip up. They didn't do that. It's just one piece. That's, this is just one solid piece. So what I did is, so I didn't lose them, I just plugged them in upside down. So that's why they were like that. I know they were upside down. But if you put them on, there you go. And again, oops. I plugged them in upside down so I didn't lose them. They don't have a swivel function. Um, and just real quick, like I said, this here's the uh, Steel Brigade, just so you remember. If you don't have one, this is the head they come with. This is an extra head Condor comes with. Now this head, um, is the head that the uh, other troopers, the let me get one, uh, the Republic Guard troopers? And there's, I think, three different versions. There's a Special Ops, which they're black. There's an Urban, which is like a gray camo. Um, and then there's a blue version, which they might be called Special Ops. Excuse me. They're not, they're not special ops. They're, so this is the special ops version. My bad. And these are the Republic Guard. So um, his mainline figures, all these guys are $32. And then you can get these troop builder figures and they're $22. And um, let me get to... Uh, you guys backed up and I can show you the um, the packaging difference if you don't have these figures I'm sure you've probably all seen it by now so the main line $32 figures come in a box with your window displaying the figure their accessories action force cool thing Again, is they have file cards, which is awesome. There's some nice detail on them. Good background. Um, they come with action points. He's doing that throwback to the old days of the G.I. Joe where we had the flag points, which is really cool. I said he'll do something in the future. And then they'll have um, a little bit of box art, which they're just black and white. Nothing fancy. Um, I don't think it's as good as the Hasbro packaging art but still a good package um, now the these are usually around $32 so the troop builder figures they're called uh, Republic Guard and they just come in a plain box like this um, it's got a picture and they also have a file card which is really cool you can just see how small the box is and they have an uh, action point of one, a one action point. So they just come in a box, and when they come in a black, uh, sorry, a plastic bag. So you get your figure, and then they'll have in that bag. So here. They come with a stand. Which again, I've said this in my other videos, it's awesome that he included all these stands. Because, you know, Hasbro's cheap ass doesn't give us stands. And they come with a little bag with an extra head painted with uh, black. And there's a Caucasian in black. So you got a couple different. And then one, two, let's see, there's 
they come with the closed fists and then three sets of hands so four four sets of hands total so with these guys they're about ten dollars less and the only thing you're not getting is you're not you're not going to get a, a weapon which this is not the weapon the steel brigade trooper comes with by the way i can put him aside here so i think this steel brigade trooper has the actual rifle that they come with grenade launcher so yeah this is the steel brigade trooper so you're with the basic figures you're not getting the holster and these holsters strap with the um, gear bag here they those can you can take these off these guys don't come with that and they don't come with any weapons so no uh, long rifle pistol sidearm pistol knife they don't come with them but you get all the hands head so I mean basically you get an other figure you're getting two heads where these guys don't even come with them so still a great deal you know $22 you can shoot army build I think I got about eight or nine of these I'll get in those garrison troops I believe are they in that range but um because I'd like to get some more of those for Kirk, you know, gotta have his bad boys. Uh, Swarm Troopers, they're a $32 figure. They come with weapons and um, so that's it. He's got the two price points right now, 22 or 32. And I don't know, it's pretty sweet line so far. I'm pumped about it. Uh, you can do just, I think they're just a great realistic, um, real world military figure. And, you know, with our G.I. Joe classifieds getting better, but they kind of came out with these game futuristic, you know, a lot of us were like, eh, it's kind of like Duke, but could do a tweak here and there. Had these weird weapons and stuff, but, you know, now with our... Cobra and we're getting the classic figures and but this, these action force I mean they can stand toe to toe it's going to be based on your opinion uh, I think some of the action force are better uh, Hasbro has been doing really well with classified I, I collect all I, I collect like black series uh, the legends I collect all the Hasbro um well, not all of it. I don't collect all their 112 scale, but I collect the three big ones. And I mean, these Action Force are right there, right up with them. Some of you are going to think they're better. Um, some things about them are better. They're just, they're great. I, I definitely get some if you haven't. Um, again, he's got more pre-orders up, which having some issues, but... I just wanted to do that, and I think that's all the figures. He's got the packs. You can get gear packs for backpacks, satchels, and then he's got weapon packs. So the weapon packs are like thirteen dollars. You get ten weapons. It's a no-brainer. As you can see, these weapons are, you know. Like I said, Hasbro gives you a solid black gun and Valverse is giving us more detail because I don't like to paint figures and stuff if I don't have to. You know, I like them to come looking like this, ready to, ready to be popped out and displayed. Nothing, nothing I need to do. That's what I like. Cause, you know, I, I'm not going to paint the Viper's gun, whatever. All right. Everybody have a good evening or good morning. Whenever you're watching this and I'll talk to you soon.